A little while later, after Giddy and Patriot had their wee talk, Giddy returned to Timmy's station with a package all I was waiting for her. Good evening, sir, said Katie. What is the matter? Oh, nothing is the matter, Katie. I have news for you. What kind of news, sir? Well, you all know that time is scrooges. Are you glad about it, sir? Go on. Well, I decided to give them to you by the Leo. What? But wouldn't Thomas be lonely without them? That's what I thought too. But the museum has something in mind for him. And they take him out on the little testing track. Besides, his coaches are needed here in the park of Maritime. So, yeah. That'd be all, Katie. Good night. Uh, good night, sir. The package all went back to went back to wait for the final train of the day. Well, that's a well, that's a shock, but that's understandable. Hmm. Maybe the museum could make extras of Lady and Clarabelle. The fact that Joel is right, Ray and Clarabelle are needed on the far car ride line. Just then, Leo overheard this. Say, what's this? Did I hear this correctly? Ah! Oh, she has other. Yes, you heard it correctly. I, I got my own coaches? <laughs> You got uh, your big brothers, but yes. Oh, wait. Does that mean I thought that I shared them with Amos? <laughs> yes, but definitely they're yours now. Well, what's our big brother gonna do without his coaches? The museum's gonna figure something out, said okay. Katie. Oh. Okay. I'm sure it'll just be old coaches. Yeah, I, 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 but I was thinking uh, doubles of um, another pair of rain clear belt. But Thomas is reminded of this French line. You are smart, sis. And I love you. <laughs> love you too. Well, thank you for watching. Yeah, bye.